Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It is like 5.50 in the morning. My voice is a little scraggly. I've had a very, very long week, but I wanted to show you, well, I'm filming a few videos right now, but I wanted to show you guys how my favorite way to achieve the perfect wing liner. And I also wanted to try a hack that I saw online that I tried once, but I kind of was drinking and I was just fooling around with makeup, so yeah. Let's zoom in and I will show you guys my most favorite way to achieve my wing liner and we're going to try this hack out which looks super easy and fun and I'm actually excited to try it out like without being under the influence of liqueur. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my eyes using the I Love uh, the Essence I Love Stage Primer. Normally I'll use my Painterly Paint Pots but for this I wanted to show you guys an inexpensive option. Now my eyes are very irritated because I've been dealing with cats all weekend and uh, yeah, I'm allergic. Even though I have a cat, I'm very allergic. This is a great find. This is under like two or three bucks, um, but I can't find it at Target anymore. Every time I go, I don't see it. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find it on Amazon or even at Target and link it down below for you guys. It's under three bucks. I know Ulta sells it, but some of y'all already know I don't shop at Ulta. So anyway, I just let it sit on the lid enough that it thickens a bit. And then I blend it onto my lid by pressing and pushing. And then I'll bring it up to my brow. So like I really want to concentrate most of the coverage on my lid because that's where it's the most needy. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and set that. And I'm going to use my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. I'm going to be using my Sigma E35 brush and a little bit of the translucent powder and set that on my eyes. I say, I always say set your eyes when you put a primer of any sort because I, I personally don't like working with tacky surfaces. I feel like it, it's more effort to blend and ain't nobody got time for that crap to be honest. I set all the way to the brown bone and I find that this helps blend any shadow so much easier. I love it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette and I'm going to take the shade Roxy with my 109 brush by Sonia Kashuk and just take this on the crease. Okay, I'm going to take my um, Cosette S175 brush and I'm going to go in the shade Rowdy. I'm going to take that right here on the lash line and press it. If you guys have problems getting that nice little smoky blend, I'm going to show you guys a trick. So you see that? I just pressed it on there. I'm going to go in, where the hell is it? With my Sonia Kashuk brush, and then I'm just going to blend that. And it'll give me the smokiness I, I desire without it o being overkill. Build it up so you can go back in, press it into the outer V. And then go back in with your blending brush. No additional product. I'm literally just going in and blending it. And like my blend time is so much like nil. Like I barely have to blend as much because I have a powder base on top of more powder. So my Coastal Scents brush, this is a BRCN02. It's huge. And I'm going to go in with the shade Dawn. It's actually my favorite matte lid, matte lid color. Look at that. Look at the pigmentation on that sucker. Beautiful. And I only pressed it in once. And yes, this palette does have some kickback and some fallout. I love a wing liner. I personally feel like I don't look good in any other liner. I'm going to show you two techniques, but I'm going to do only one on my eye, which is my tried and true. I tell everyone to just try it. It's going to be the tape method. And the other method I'm going to show, I'm going to stamp on my hand. It, is, it hasn't been successful to me. And I think it's because I have a lot of wrinkling right here. I just don't like it. But I'm going to show you guys a technique using a bobby pin so that if you want to freehand it, at least you can have like a nice outline of a stamp. So if you don't want to use tape, I definitely will recommend this technique. So I'm going to go in and cut out two pieces of tape, about an inch and a half. It doesn't have to be that big. You can make it smaller. It's up to you. So I'm going to place it on the back of my hand and peel it off so it takes a little bit of that stickiness away. And I'm going to line up 
the line where I would want my eyeliner to look, so it's kind of gonna be up. They're not all gonna come out the same. They, rare, they rarely ever do, even with tape. You just want that sharpness. This is how I would recommend doing it because this is like my favorite technique on how to get like a sharp wing liner. So I just press it right here and I leave these inner flaps like that so I can peel it off. Start off with my left eye so you guys can see better. I'm gonna be using my Chide and True Inglot number 77 liner. I mixed it in with some Duralin and I've just been like layering a couple dots on top and but then I always get it dry again so I finally decided think common sense kicked in and I mixed it together so it looks really wet but it works beautifully the pigmentation on the sucker has not sub subsided I used the Inglot Duralene quite a bit for powder so that you can make like liners colored eyeliners and stuff like that my favorite brush right now is the Royal and Nickel 20 over 0 brush it is so fine I do have another Royal and Nickel brush that I love using that I cannot find right now I also have another Royal and Land Nickel brush and this one is the 5 over 0. So I'm going to try to leave these linked down below. So I'm going to start in the middle of my eye. I always start in the middle of my eye. Because I always want it nice and clean on the lid. And then I can work out the wing later. Like I can always clean up the wing and start all over again if need be. But I really don't want to have to you know, start all over again. And then I go in. All right, now we're gonna start off with the wing. And the beauty about the tape is that you go, you build your line, and then you work this out. This is something I don't really talk through. <laughs> And then I'll fix whatever boo-boos I feel like need to be fixed. Like this connect right here. And you can hold your eye taut if you want. I try not to do that. I feel like this eyeliner is um, dramatic as fuck. Take the tape. There you go. Clean. It's no wave. Perfect. I'm very happy with that. So, there you go. Crisp eyeliner. I know I'm looking sideways, but to crisp eyeliner look, I mean, regardless, it does take practice to do. I love this technique. It's easy for me. I could usually do this faster, but because I'm kind of trying to guide you guys on how to do this, you know, it's taking me a little bit longer. So this is pretty much the easiest way that I can think of getting a wing liner. Now I'm gonna show you guys a technique with using bobby pins. Now I have two kinds of bobby pins. Where's the other bobby pin? I have two kinds of bobby pins here. I have one that's more beige and one that's more the ones I use all the time. And as you can see, it's two different shapes. So you would kind of put it up to where you would want your eyeliner to be like so. This one matches more like what I did. Like, you see that? So it match matches up. If you want something small and petite, you can do something like this. What you wanna do is align it to the side of the eye you're doing, and you're going to take your eyeliner, you could take your liquid liner, your cream liner, your pencil liner, whatever it is you want, and you're gonna take a brush, this is an e.l.f. brush, but you're gonna go ahead and paint that section of the bobby pin because you want to create a stamp so then you would go in say this is the way you want your liner to look and you're gonna press it on your eye and then you would create an outline so then of course you would go in and fill it in And then make your line so like so so you would fill it in with whatever brush you like this is like a perfect technique to kind of just get your outline and then freehand it bobby pin like that and then you press it 
and then you get your little wing liner and then you, of course you would build it up i'm gonna do this like literally like this is the epitome of freehand and you would fill it in to however you're choosing and clean it up and create your wing liner so this is a foolproof way to get at least an outline of an eyeliner if you want a thinner liner you might want to like press this you might want to work on pressing this tighter or if you want something a little thicker you can pull the bobby pin push it up and bend it so that it reflects a little bit thicker so yeah i'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face and film another video for you guys anyway guys so that's pretty much it um i hope i taught you guys something on how to achieve a really sharp or clean eyeliner look i know i made a video on this years ago but i get asked all the time how i achieve the the sharpness of my wing liner so that is how i do it with a little old roll of tape if you just want the outline and want to freehand it i totally recommend using the bobby pin technique um i think it's pretty dope you could move in it down into the eye more if you don't want such a long um wing but every bobby pin is different so you gotta work with what you got so anyway guys that's pretty much it i'll try to leave everything linked down below um that i use today like my inglot number 77 liner the inglot duraline and my favorite brushes i'll try to leave them linked down below so anyway guys that's pretty much it i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye